If you're considering making a move to the Tampa Bay area, this video is for you. This is for you. We're gonna compare the cost of living in different areas in Tampa Bay. I'll show you some of the most expensive places to live. I'll show you some of the cheapest places to live. And if you stick around till the end, I'll even show you how to find a great place no matter what your budget is. If this is your first time to the channel, my name's Juan Alcala and we make videos that are all things Tampa Bay. What it's like to live here, what it's like to work here, what it's like to play here, the food, the dining, the outdoors, the beaches, and the sunshine. And if you're into that type of thing, make sure you go down and hit that subscribe button, click that little bell and hit the like button. That way you can be notified every time we drop a new video just like this and you don't have to go chasing it down. All right, so I wanted to make this video because recently we've been getting so many phone calls from people just like you who are considering, you know, relocating, buying, or investing here in the greater Tampa Bay area. And inevitably we get the big three questions, right? Which is very common for us, which is, hey, what's up with hurricanes? What's up with the heat during the summer? And tell me about alligators. These are like the three most dominant questions I ever get. But inevitably the conversation leads to, you know, what does it cost to live in X area? And in today's video, I really wanted to get after, you know, the cost of living in the certain areas when it comes to housing in particular. We've done full videos on, you know, the pros and cons and the cost of living, and you can check those out. We'll make sure those in the description down below. But, you know, what I really wanted to do is focus on what it actually costs to purchase a home in these areas because we, you know, if you're new to this channel, we talk about things that are all Tampa Bay, right? And what I'd love to do is start with a 30,000 foot view today. And really kind of just, you know, let's talk about the whole area. What makes sense for you if you're considering making that investment or relocating the area? I think it's really important to cover. And the thing that I wanted to start out with is I need to give perspective because what might be expensive to you may be cheap to others and vice versa, right? So when I use these terms, I'm just going based upon what the average cost is to purchase a home or the median prices of a house that's currently selling. Now I'm going off of real-time data. I pulled this from our local MLS and oh, I'm sorry, if you didn't know, I'm a licensed real estate agent and I help people just like you buy, sell, relocate and invest. So do not hesitate to reach out. All of our contact information is below, but let's talk about how we're gonna approach this because again, Perspective is key. Now, we live in a world where eggs cost $10. Joe, eggs are $10. Eggs are $10. You think we're worrying about going to Turks and Caicos right now? And yes, she's right. Eggs now cost $10. And I don't care what world you live in, you know, you could be doing pretty well in terms of income, but when eggs go from $2 to $10, we feel it. And why do I say that? Well, because housing has followed that path as well. And I just want to make sure that everybody's on the same page. You know, I realize that people here locally think that the cost of real estate here in Tampa is insane. And I don't disagree that it is very expensive for some people but I also know that we have clients who relocate from all over the country that still think that Tampa is a value. And when you look at Tampa nationally, we are almost dead in line with the average home value. You know, at the time of this recording, the average home value in the United States is right around 393,000. In the Tampa Bay area, it's 394,000. I mean, it is very close. So when you think about that, we're in line with the rest of the country, but coastally speaking, we're still a really good value. So much so that we've got people moving up from Miami, right? They already live in Florida and now they're starting to make the jump to Tampa because it's far more affordable. It's almost 18 to 20% more affordable here on average than it is down in Miami. So I wanted to start just by giving a frame of reference. That way everybody can kind of just get on the same page. And when I say cheap, again, it might be cheap to you, might be expensive to you. That's up for you and your budget. But I wanted to share this information because at least you have a place to start, right? So the first thing I want to do is talk about Tampa Bay and what it looks like. Tampa Bay is made up essentially of three counties. You've got Pasco County to the north, you've got Hillsborough County, which were, is where Tampa proper actually is, and to the west, you've got Pinellas County. That's where the Gulf Coast beaches are. Now, the greater Tampa Bay area, you could probably pull in Manatee County to the southeast, Bradenton, Lakewood Ranch, Parrish, uh, those areas. We've done videos on all of those areas. And then as you get further south, now you've got Sarasota County, which is only an hour and 10 minutes south, depending on traffic. So can you pull that into the area? Absolutely, but we're gonna focus on the three primary drivers, which are gonna be Pasco, Hillsborough, and Pinellas County today. 
All right, so let's start to the north. Now, Pasco County has become extremely popular over the last few years. As a matter of fact, at one point in 2022, Pasco County was the most popular county in the United States for relocation. Now, that only happened one month, but it was on the map. That's how busy it was getting. And up in Wesley Chapel, we have really driving areas. We've got you know newer developments with some really great amenities up there. You've got Wesley Chapel with the Epperson Lagoon. We've done videos on that place. It's absolutely stunning. You've got areas like Loot, Lando Lakes and Odessa which are all drivers these communities are all rated a on niche.com they all are highly desirable most of them have very highly rated schools so people are flocking to them and they have new or newer construction with a lot of amenities there's great shopping up in Wesley Chapel you've got Costco Target all the things up there so it's driving a lot of people to the area so I wanted to start with you know give you guys some perspective on numbers because the average home in Pasco County that sold at the beginning of the year but we're making this video in February of 2023 you know the the average home in Pasco County that sold was a three bedroom two bath 1758 square foot home that was three hundred and fifty three thousand dollars now that's the median is that average I would say no and the reason I say that is because what I see in order to get into those communities is right around four fifty to five hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Now that'll get you a very nice home, typically a three or a four bedroom home, new construction, you know, in a beautiful area with lots of amenities. But the, the median is the median, so I wanted to share that with you guys. But I really wanted to share some other information with you just to give you some perspective. What is cheap, what is expensive? So I ran some numbers and I wanna share those with you guys right now. Right now on the high end of Pasco County, you're gonna be looking at communities like Odessa, where the average price point is over $600,000. Wesley Chapel, where again, the average price point is probably about 450. And then the more affordable areas are Dade City, um, Zephyr Hills, Newport Ritchie, Holiday. These are some great areas that offer some affordability so if that you know if you're very budget conscious those are great places to look at and I want to jump in here and share this with you because I grabbed the lowest sale sales price and I grabbed the highest sales price in Pasco County so I wanted to share that with you and in Newport Ritchie there was a condo that sold for eighty three thousand dollars so there's still some serious affordability when you look at the greater Tampa Bay area even though our average price point is three hundred ninety three thousand dollars so I think that's something to take note of now, the most expensive sale was a five bedroom, five bath that was on a golf course. Um, it was $1.5 million. So, and that was in Dade City. So obviously you can still grab some luxury real estate in the county as well. So I love these versus lists where you can kind of see what does it cost? But you know, if you're looking, again, if you're looking for that, you know, what I would say is upper middle class, you know, in terms of um, uh, income ranges, or you want to go higher than that, you're going to be looking at Wesley Chapel, Odell, uh, Land of Lakes Lutes, okay? And if you're looking for more affordable options, you know, then you're gonna start looking at areas like Holiday and those things too. So I hope that helps. I love lists like this. All right, so now let's get into Hillsborough County, which is where Tampa proper is. And Hillsborough County, for, for those of you who never been here before, you know, when you look at the greater Tampa Bay area, you know, you'll see Tampa is right downtown on the bay. That's why they call it Tampa Bay. And as you look over, you'll see the Gulf Coast communities. But when we look at Hillsborough County, it touches the bottom of Pasco County in that Temple Terrace, Wesley Chapel area, you know, up by the uh, USF. And then as you move south, you go all the way down into the Apollo Beach area before you hit areas like Parrish and uh, Bradenton. So, you know, just looking at the area, what does it look like? Now, where the real estate is expensive versus cheap, you know, you got areas in the on the expensive side um, or on the high-end side, areas like uh, Hyde Park, you know, um, South Tampa is where most people, you know, they kind of put their mind to when they want to move to Tampa. It's very suburban, but it's also very close to the city. If you live in Hyde Park, it's literally like a three minute drive over the bridge to get to downtown Tampa, which makes it extremely attractive, right? You know, uh, Harbor Island, Davis Island, these things, you know, a lot of athletes live in those areas. And as you travel north, you've got really nice areas like West Chase and Citrus Park. As you travel out to the east, you've got areas like Fishhawk Ranch and Lithia, which are extremely desirable. A lot of these areas have top rated schools. Um, they've got great resale values in, in, in terms of real estate and they have a lot of amenities so they draw a lot of people to them. Now, if you're more budget conscious and you're trying to stay on top of that, you're gonna be looking at areas like you know Riverview Brandon, you're gonna be looking at areas like Temple Terrace and there are definitely deals to be had in North Tampa. 
Now, the thing that you need to know about it is these areas are not for everybody. I always tell everybody it's time to do your homework when you start looking at areas come with words like affordability because you know there are some challenges in some of these areas too. And guys, I'm not here to call one thing good or bad. I just have to call it what as I see it and how's the data stacks up. So you know when you're looking at new areas, I would take things into consideration like crime maps. Those are really good tools. As a matter of fact, we post one in the bottom in our description on every video. That way, when you call me, I because I can't answer is something safe or not, but I can absolutely direct you to the resources. So go check out that map below. And hey, if you're getting any value out of today's video, make sure you hit that like button while you're down there as well. It really helps out the channel. But back to you know where we're at in Tampa here. You know the average home here that sold in Tampa was a three bedroom, two bath. It was 1,812 square feet, and it sold for $380,000. That's Tampa proper. Remember how I told you the national average was almost? Uh, I'm sorry, three hundred ninety-three thousand. So to live in Hillsborough County, it's actually cheaper than the national average, which is really cool. So why is that? Let's look at some of these numbers and where they stack up. There was a condo that sold in, in Tampa in the, in the city limits for $87,000. Again, that's a really good deal. There also was a single family home that sold uh, that for in Tampa for $5.7 million. And Tampa's got some incredible real estate, especially when you get on the water. And that's, you know, Tampa Bay, that's where, where most of the money's gonna be sent. But there's something to be had in Tampa city limits for almost everybody, and especially in Hillsborough County. So if you're considering making that move, don't hesitate to reach out. All of our contact information is linked down below, including a link to my calendar where you can schedule a time to jump on a Zoom call. If you have any questions, I'd be more than happy to answer them for you. All right, now it's time to move to Pinellas County, and that's where we've got those beautiful Gulf Coast beaches with the white sugar sand like Clearwater and St. Petersburg. And this is definitely one of the most desirable areas in the entire Tampa Bay area. There is something to be had for everybody in every community in Tampa, whether it's in Pasco, whether it's in Hillsboro, or whether it's in Pinellas County. But the big draw here is obviously the Gulf Coast beaches. I mean, we've got over 25 miles of white sugar sand beaches and it pulls people in just like myself. When me and my family made the move here a little over four years ago, we absolutely fell in love with the Gulf Coast beaches and they just stole our heart to be honest with you my wife said I want to move here we made it happen we live very close to the beach we're very fortunate but we're not fortunate enough to live on the water <laughs> that's a whole different level that we haven't arrived at yet just to be honest with y'all um, but we do sell that real estate every day and it's just fun to be in and fun to see people just execute on their dream you know the beautiful thing about the Tampa Bay area is for the most part this entire area is a get to move to area and what I mean is most people that are moving here don't have to move here they are choosing to move here which makes the lifestyle incredible because most people really enjoy Enjoy the atmosphere, the community, the sunshine, all the things that draw people in, especially the beaches. So when we start talking about the Gulf Coast communities, obviously they're a huge draw. So let's start talking about what it actually costs to live here, because I think these numbers can be a little bit deceiving. So I really want to shed some light on this with you guys. And the average home that sold here in the month of January 2023 in Pinellas County was a three bedroom, two bath, 1,314 square foot, and that sold for $365,000. Now, we had $380,000 in Hillsboro. We had 365, no, 353 in Pasco County. Well, Juan, this looks to be cheaper. Well, no, it's not because you're losing almost 400 square feet. So dollar per square foot, when you start getting near the Gulf Coast, starts to get, it starts to go up a little bit, right? So keep that in mind. And we don't have a whole lot of newer homes here. And the reason being is because this area was really well established in the 40s, 50s, I'm sorry, 50s, 60s, and 70s. And there just isn't any land to build new homes on. If you wanna build a new home in Pinellas County, you basically have to tear one down and put one up, which makes the real estate very expensive. So when you start to look at the Gulf Coast community, you know there are still deals to be had, which I'm gonna share with you guys here in a moment, but just know that you're going to get less home and it's gonna cost you more money the closer you get to the water. And that's normal no matter where you live, right? Lake houses probably cost more where you're at. Well, if you're in the desert, you may not have that 
option, but anywhere near the water always goes up. So I just wanted to give that perspective. And again, we're gonna share some areas that I think make sense. You know, some of the most expensive areas to live here, it, well, Bel Air Beach is the number one most expensive city in the greater Tampa Bay area. You know, it basically cost a million dollars to sniff the lawn here, uh, but that lawn smells like sea <laughs> because the Gulf of Mexico is close and you can get that salty air blowing across, but it is not cheap, right? You've got Bel Air, which falls right over the intercoastal waterway. You've got areas like Palm Harbor, St. Pete Beach, obviously is gonna ring the register as well. Downtown St. Pete is also, you know, it is definitely on the higher end. The, lux the luxury real estate runs rampant down there. So this is something to be mindful of. If you're looking for a more affordable option, you're gonna wanna look at areas like uh, Clearwater, Largo, um, Pinellas Park, those are areas that definitely have tend to have some more affordability um, when it comes to being as close to the water as we are here because honestly, we're really spoiled. And I always like to share this with people. When you think about Florida, it's a peninsula on the ocean, y'all. We're in the ocean, just so everybody knows. And Pinellas County is a peninsula on a peninsula in the ocean. So that is why the real estate values are where they are. So it's something to keep in mind. Now, I wanna share with you guys some numbers because again, how much does it cost to get in here, Juan? I gave you the average, but like, let's talk about you know what cheap versus expensive really looks like, right? So there was a condo that sold in uh, in Kenneth City, which is just uh, to the north end of, of uh, Saint Petersburg there, and it sold for fifty thousand dollars, y'all. That's crazy, stupid, affordable. That's the cheapest that we've seen on this entire list today. And and in St. Pete, the most expensive that sold in the month of January was a $6.5 million condo that was right on the bay. And I'm telling you, if you've never been to downtown St. Pete, you are missing out. It is an absolute hidden gem, y'all. A hidden gem. Okay, having said all of that, I wanna put this in a nice little package. If you're considering making a move to the Tampa Bay area and you're looking for a three to four bedroom single family home, on average, you're gonna spend somewhere between 450,000 to $700,000. That's basically gonna be the sweet spot in today's market. You know, this is obviously subject to change, but that's right about what you're gonna see. If you want a pool and a four bedroom, you're gonna be looking in, you know, that seven, $800,000 range all day. If you want a three or four bedroom with no pool, you can get in at $400,000, $450,000. So I'm just trying to give you a range. And that's basically available in Pasco County and in Hillsborough County. Once you come over to Pinellas County, now you're gonna be talking about that five you know five is gonna you know get you in an, an opportunity that it's gonna need some love you know on average you're gonna be seeing 550 to 900 in Pinellas County that's just the reality of today's market um, do things change all the time absolutely that's that's where it's at if again if you're looking to make this work at any budget level do not hesitate to reach out you want to know how to do that you reach out to me and my team and we can help walk you through the areas because our ultimate goal here is to match your ideal lifestyle with the ideal community if we do that, everything else tends to take care of itself. Yes, everybody has a budget, everybody has things they have to work through, and our team is definitely here to help serve you on that end. I'm gonna put up two videos right here that I think are gonna be extremely helpful, cost of living, pros and cons, those things help everybody if you're starting your journey. If you're considering making that move, do not hesitate to reach out. And as I've said before, all of our contact information is listed down below. Do not hesitate to reach out. And until next time, go out and live that Tampa life.